Hey everyone, welcome back to a Strumming for Fun guitar introduction instructional series. Today we are going to continue our journey into the pentatonic major scale, pentatonic, pentatonic, five note scale. Um, and we are going to be focusing on the second position. What I did in the original video that focused on the root position, we were in the key of G. So that is the lowest note in the scale, which on the sixth string, third fret is G, okay? Now, for the second position, we're just gonna slide up a whole step. So we're gonna skip a fret and go to the fifth fret, okay? And that's actually the A note, which would be the second note in the scale. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're not going to worry about notes. We're not going to worry about intervals too much. If you go back and take a look, um, I do have some really rudimentary um, practice videos on both Rumble and Patreon.com slash Chords and Notes Nation uh, to get you started on, on practicing um, basically your, your, your finger positions, learning muscle memory on how to navigate the fretboard and learning which fingers you need to use in conjunction with others to go from one fret to the next or to skip a fret or to even go skip a few frets, right? So it's, it's all about training the muscles in the hand. Uh, for muscle memory so that you can just play naturally. Anyways, getting into it, let's just focus on the shape and the pattern of the second position of the G major pentatonic scale, okay? So, really all that is going to be is we're really focusing on the fifth fret, all the way down and the seventh fret all the way down with just a minor variation on two of the strings on the second and third string respectively so what I want you to do starting out we're going to be using let's remember our numberings of our fingers one two three four so we're going to be using one and three all right and that is we're going to be using those on the first three strings Starting on the 5th fret, 7th fret. Let's go to the A string, the next string down. 5th fret, 7th fret. Next string, which is our D string. Okay. Let's just focus on those three so far. Watch this hand with the alternate picking. Down, up, down, up. Okay, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay. Now, for that third string, we're going to slide over to the fourth fret with our index finger, our number one finger, and then we're going to stay on the seventh fret with our fourth finger. Okay. Let's get to that second string. So we are going to go back to the fifth fret with our index finger, but we're going to go to the eighth fret with our fourth finger. And let's finish this off. Here is our G note. Remember, the low E and the high E have the same notes on them. So if this is a G, this is a G. Okay, so let's finish that. Fifth fret, seventh fret. So it's going to look like this, played all the way through. Sorry for that. Sometimes you hit those frets with your finger and make a dead note, but that's all part of practicing and playing through it. Okay, 
Now you can, that is ascending, right? So it's going from the lowest note to the highest note. You're ascending in pitch. We didn't, <clears throat> um, well now what we need to do is we need to go in a descending manner, right? So this is, this is where you're going to switch your alternate picking, okay? So for example, what I'm saying, trying to say is, I'm starting out picking in a downward motion. Next string, next note is upward, right? So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now we're just gonna go backwards. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Threw that extra note in there, that F sharp in there. Um, that actually comes out of the diatonic scale. But we will go into that in a different video. So, keep practicing. Get used to that shape. Get used to that pattern that you're forming with your fingers, okay, on these strings. Because you're going to find out when we go to um, transposing this to a different key, the patterns are going to stay the same, but the position on the neck is going to be different. So your root position is going to change if you're going to go from G to A, which means everything shifts with it. So the relationship of the notes, which we call the intervals, stays the same. It's just the position on the neck, that pattern shifts and it gets played in a different position. That being said, Keep practicing. You guys are going to do just fine. It's going to be exciting for you. <laughs> and I'm so tired. It's been a long day. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.